Hey what's up YouTube, welcome to the We All Juggle Knives channel and my video displaying my blunt weapons collection. Let's start off with a disclaimer. All weapons shown are for historical, educational, and cultural purposes only. I do not encourage violence. YouTube wants us to say that. Having said that, I do encourage legitimate, lawful, and legal self-defense when necessary. Have you been watching the news lately? Yes, I mean... What better time to discuss such concepts? In fact, uh, this coming decade, it's shaping up to be maybe the decade of the street fighter in the USA. You know, you might not be interested in violence, but sometimes violence comes and finds you. Anyway, I hope you find this video entertaining and uh, maybe you'll see something that you might need or want. I mean, you know, for educational purposes only, of course. Now, in the text description box, I'm going to have a list of links where you can get some of these items. However, I've had some of these for several years, so in cases where the item is no longer available, I will find good substitutions for you. All right, so check out the text description box. There will be Amazon links. All right, here we have my tire thumpers. Now, normally a tire thumper is just used to check the inflation on your tires. I got a lot of viewers that are truckers. Never mess with truckers. All, every trucker I know is very able to handle themselves. Now sometimes people try to rip off truckers, try to mess with their truck, and if you do that you might find yourself on the uh, business end of one of these. All right, So don't mess with truckers. You know, Choose life, man. All right, this item is called the car emergency stick, and it's basically if you get trapped in your car in an accident, you can smash your window out. Available on Amazon, it was $23. It took two months to arrive, but it had really good reviews. Uh, it is hollow. You can fill it if you want to increase the weight. All right, next up, we got the Cold Steel Brooklyn Slammer. It is polypropylene. Cold Steel has many sizes of bats. They've got the Whopper, the Crusher, the Shorty, the Banshee. This is the one that's short but heavy. Pro good for close spaces, you know, like bartenders. People keep it in their car. They have another one that's short but lighter and a longer one. And then they have an extra long one. So decide which is best suited for your needs. Uh, and Cold Steel has some interesting videos on their channel demonstrating these. But yeah, Cold Steel bats. And if you're wondering what I use to wrap the handles, I use this. This is Gamma Grip. I bought it on Amazon. I've also used Wilson Grip, but I'll include a link to that because people always ask, what is that grip? It's, it's Gamma Grip. It's very useful. All right, here we have my S-Wing. Uh, it's a three-pound hammer, but actually that's the head weight, so the total weight more than three pounds. Now, I suppose any hammer could theoretically be a blunt weapon. So this is just going to represent, you know, all, I'm not going to haul out every hammer I own for the collection, but uh, yeah, normally it's just a tool, but it could cause severe damage. All right. Everlast hand weight. These are usually sold as grip weights, bought it at my local sporting goods store. All right. That's the one pounder. And next to that is the two pounder. And I think these pretty much speak for themselves. Now I wear a large size glove, so if you want to see how the one pounder fits a large size hand, there you go. Now this is for size reference only. It's not meant to be instructional, but there are many videos on YouTube that will instruct you on how to safely use something like this, so check those out. I used to have an awesome collection of brass knuckles, but I had to get rid of them because they got banned where I live, which is pretty ridiculous considering they sell these right in the sporting goods stores and, you know, these are perfectly legal. I use them as exercise weights, but don't attack me when I'm exercising. All right, the usefulness of a good flashlight cannot be overemphasized. You hear a bump in the night, you go investigate, and hopefully it's just a raccoon but if someone means you harm, if they jump out at you, well, it's good to have something like this in your hand because it's, it's got reach, it's heavy. Now, this is unbranded, but usually these are either Trust Fire or Ultra Fire. So I will find some currently available flashlights like that. You know, beef up your home security. All right, now, no blunt weapons collection would be complete without improvised or homemade weapons. Now, this is... I carved this myself, and normally I just use it to pound tent stakes or to 
uh, baton wood, things like that. It's like a bushcraft mallet, so to speak. It's thick like uh, Kim Kardashian. Yeah, you see that? But yeah, I just made that myself. If you want to see me carve it, check out my Estwing Carpenter's Hatchet video in which I did that. But that's going to represent, you know, improvised uh, weaponry. All right, here is an African war club. Can also be a hunting club. I did purchase this on Amazon and the shipping took forever because it legit did come from Africa. So when I said cultural purposes, this is an item of great uh, cultural and historical significance uh, to the tribes in Africa. And I just thought it was pretty cool. What I've been told is that these are usually made from a root. I guess uh, that's how they get that kind of bulbous and I guess the root is naturally shaped like that. And basically, it's a beautiful artifact. All right, this next item, I call it Old Rusty. Yeah, now this again, this is representing an entire category of improvised weapons. When things really go Mad Max, you might just have to pick up stuff off the ground. I was uh, walking down the street one day. This obviously fell off of a vehicle. I picked it up out of curiosity. I found it had good weight to it. So yeah, Old Old rusty for when things go total Mad Max. All right, these are Eskrima sticks. The top ones are aluminum. They're, and then the bottom ones are actually ironwood Eskrima sticks from the Philippines. Now, Filipino ironwood is actually a different species from what we know in the USA as ironwood. Uh, the Filipino species is actually very rare. And I don't think, I think it's endangered, so they're not allowed to cut it anymore. So any ironwood sticks you find supposedly were cut before a certain date, so they are pretty rare. I am part Filipino, and I do know a little bit about Eskrima. You want to see some of these Eskrima sticks in action? Check this out. Now, in Eskrima, this is known as interweaving pattern. It's actually four distinct strikes, but when you do it real fast, it's hard to tell. I will include links that actually break this exercise down and explain to you exactly what I'm doing and how to do it, so check out those links. All right, YouTube, well, I hope you're enjoying this video so far. I trust you find it entertaining. Let's go out with a more of a closer look at that Cold Steel Brooklyn Slammer. All right, this should give you a better size reference in a human hand. I, I feel like Negan from The Walking Dead standing there. You want to hear my Negan impression? Holy shit, YouTube, I will shut that shit down. All right, that's the best I can do. That's the best I can do. But this... uh. This Brooklyn Slammer, this got some nice weight to it. Very useful. How do you like my shirt, YouTube? Yeah, that's what I really think of people who go looking for trouble. You, if you go looking for it, don't complain when you find what you know you were looking for. And as for violence, well, you know, violence and the laws of physics don't give a shit if you were right or wrong or what your politics are or were. All right, that's words, words to live by there, words of wisdom from We All Juggle Knives. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. hope you found some perhaps useful items, some tire thumpers or fish bats or, God forbid, even something to defend yourself. Try to use the links in the text box. They do help the channel, and I really appreciate it. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.